Hi everybody, it's Devin here at Predatory Plants. People ask, often ask us about feeding their Venus flytraps. Uh, they want to know how often do they need to be fed, can they be fed stuff like hamburgers, does it have to be bugs, all that sort of stuff. In short, they don't really need to be fed, they'll catch their own food and the food for, serves as basically fertilizer. They get their energy like every other plant from a lot of bright sunlight and, and they need a lot of water, but food's just a bit extra for them. If you're growing them outdoors, which is their uh, best way, uh, the, the way they both best like to be grown, they'll catch plenty of stuff all on their own. Um, but sometimes it is fun to feed them. And when you do so, it's best to feed them live insects. Insects, because they uh, have the appropriate kind of proteins that the plant can break down. They, they've got a lot of chitins, um, which, which is what uh, Venus flytraps are able to digest with their chitinase enzymes. And live, because of uh, the way the trap needs to be stimulated for it to fully digest. So, the way that a trap closes is on these little hairs here. You can see on the inside of the leaf there, if those get triggered uh, a couple times in sequence, then the trap will snap closed, which I'll demonstrate right now. Got a little toothbrush here. So it snaps closed, but now you can see it's not all the way closed. And part of the reason for that is that if anything can escape from those, uh, in between those teeth there, if it's small enough to squeeze through, then it's too small to be worth digesting. And so the plant will, uh, will just choose to not actually digest it. It'll reopen in about a half an hour or so. Um, in order for it to do the full digestive process, it needs to have those hairs stimulated again. Now, I've caught a centipede here, and I'm gonna see if this works, because it's kind of a quick little critter. Um, this is probably not the ideal bug to use, because they are very skittery but it's what I was able to find on short notice in the greenhouse. So pardon the jittery camera as I try to get it with my forceps. Oh boy, okay, got it. So we got a centipede here. I'm gonna feed it to this big trap right there. You can see, snap closed, there. And so now, the centipede is gonna be moving around a bit. And as it does so, It'll trigger those hairs some more. And I will check back in just a moment and you'll be able to see that it's gone into a fully digestive system. Uh, so this one uh, will not have closed all the way because there's no prey in it. Uh, so the, the hairs aren't being triggered any longer. Whereas this one, which has that big centipede in there, um, it's, it's gonna have the, the inner trigger hairs being uh, brushed around a bit and it'll go into a full digestive uh, mode. So let me check back on that in a few minutes once it's done this whole seal thing. So it's been about 15 minutes since I fed this trap, the centipede, and you can see that the uh, edges, the margins of the, uh, the leaves are sealing together to make that digestive stomach. Uh, the one that didn't get any prey that I just triggered with the paintbrush uh, still has those gaps. So that won't, uh, won't progress any further, and in a little while it'll open back up and be ready to trap uh, something else that comes along. This one will spend about a week digesting the insect. Um, it'll fully seal over the course of the next hour or so, and actually kind of like press down and, and start compressing the, uh, the prey, which is very cool to see. Um, and then the chitinases will go to work and, and dissolve some of the tissues and extract nitrogen and stuff from it. Uh, and after about a week, it'll open back up, and you'll see the exoskeleton, it, it's kind of cool. Uh, and the plant gets a nice boost of uh, nitrogen and, and energy uh, that'll put into putting out new growth for the season. So that's the best way to feed a uh, Venus flytrap, uh, is with live prey like that. Of course, that's a little bit difficult. Um, one thing you can do if you have like a swatted fly or something, is um, when, when you've got the trap triggered like this, uh, this one that's not uh, doesn't have any prey in it, um, that'll, that's what'll happen if you give it like a, a, a dead fly or something. You can kind of squeeze the lobes of the uh, trap uh, once it's closed and that'll trigger the hairs and can all actually stimulate the, um, the digestive process. Oh, it looks like we got that one there, whoops. Uh, so yeah, it, it, if it closes part, part way like this with, uh, with like a swatted fly or, or some, some other dead bug that you found and you want it to go through the whole digestive process, just take your fingers and just sort of squeeze the lobes lightly and that'll brush those trigger hairs and uh, can continue the digestive process. But uh, it's easiest if you do it with live prey like this. Again, don't use hamburger or cheese or anything like that. Uh, it's, uh, it won't digest it very well. They're, 
those uh, those animal proteins are different uh, than uh, than the the arthropod proteins um, that uh, that are digested by the chitinases. So that's uh, that's how you feed a Venus flytrap. This is actually a Venus flytrap B52. It's a nice big beefy one. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'm happy to to, to answer anything about uh, feeding or, or care of uh, these plants. And um, remember to like and subscribe to see more videos like this one.